So Waterman, the pen company, there's not a, really a whole lot of buzz around their products. And I don't really understand why. So the last review I did of the Waterman Hemisphere, I got a little, a little weird about the converter not coming with the pen, but that Hemisphere is a good pen. In fact, I still, I write with it all the time. I keep it in my purse. It's a great pen, writes really well. Well, Waterman was kind enough to send over to me a Waterman Exception Slim Pen. I'm talking about this pen right here. I really like it. I really like the way it looks. I, there's this very unusual square appearance about it, which you don't really see too many pens that have a square shape to it. And I really think that's cool. It's very unusual. It's got a nice classy clip. In fact, that clip, it is 23 karat gold plated. That's fancy. On the finial, there's a W there for Waterman. I don't know if you can see it. You'll definitely see it in the writing sample video. And it's just a very classy, distinctive pen. Now, I've already got it inked up. I started writing with it already. I know I usually ink these things up and try them out for the first time and then tell you about it afterwards. But I've actually inked it up prior to this and I've been writing with it and I actually love it. Let me show you the packaging that came in. Let's see, it has a white outer sleeve. And it comes in this very good looking blue box. Open that up. And the pen actually came in this black cloth sleeve, you know, to keep it nice and, you know, until it gets to you. And you take off that false bottom. And inside there is a, there is a warranty booklet. And it has a two year limited international warranty. So if something goes wrong with this pen, Waterman will take care of you. It came with a long ink cartridge, which I don't tend to use. And it also says, here's a number. So if you happen to need to return this pen, communicate with this control number to them. And I guess they're able to hook you up, take care of you. I like when I get a pen and it has, you know, something of a guarantee with it. Like if something goes wrong with your pen, the company stands behind their product and they want to fix it. They want to make it right. And that makes me feel good as a person buying a nice pen. And this is the exception slim. This is one of their top of line pens. You know, it's a fat, it is a fabulous pen guys. You know, I, um, I like water. I like, I like the cut in. I, I, I showed you the cut in last spring. That's a fabulous pen. So very classy. I'm going to say classy a lot describing this pen actually, because it's very sophisticated. This is what the adults write with. So let's take out that cap. And there's one thing I do like about it, there's that snap cap. So I love that. Now underneath the cap, you might notice the section, it's rounded in contrast with the square barrel, which is pretty cool. And it has an 18 karat gold nib. This one has an 18 karat gold fine nib. <clears throat> this pen comes with, it's either a medium or a fine. So this is a fine, it actually writes really well for a fine, good ink flow. You know, there's some fine nibs where I get it and it's kind of like, wow, you know, the ink flow is not so good. I feel like I'm writing on this piece of paper with a needle and it's uncomfortable and it's not flowing across the page the way I would like it. So that happens. Now, the one thing that this pen did come with was a converter. I did not have to go buy it separately on Amazon. So that was really, really nice. Also, you'll notice right here on the section, there is an O-ring, uh, which will help to seal or to, you'll be able to screw the barrel on nice and secure. And there's a nice feeling to that when you have that screwed on to the section. Now, I like the nib. The nib, it's, it's not as, you know, it's not ornate, super fancy. It's not a duotone or two colored nib, but it has that classic ideal uh, logo on it. And I like that Waterman's been around a long time and Waterman, you know, it's a classic pen, a throwback pen to a simpler time. Uh, the pen does post. In fact, it posts very nice and comfortable. I really enjoy this, uh, the way it feels. 
it's actually doesn't feel really weighed down in the back by posting it and it just it really sits in the hand very nicely and i do appreciate that so well the next thing i'm going to show you is you're going to see the inking and writing sample portion of the video then i'll come back and we'll talk about the price and where you can find this exceptional pen So it writes really nice. Again, I, I really have enjoyed my experience with this pen. So of course I inked it out with a Waterman ink. I thought that was, I wish I had black Waterman ink, but I don't, I just, I felt like I wanted to ink this with a black ink, but I didn't, I might have to order some of that. Now this pen also comes in different trims. It comes in black with a silver trim. It also comes in blue with a silver trim. So if you're not a black and gold type of person, there are other options. This pen is also made in France, so it is it is one of the few pens. I think Parker is also made in France. So this course, as you saw, it was a cartridge converter. And um, again, if something goes wrong with it, there is that two-year international warranty, and they will take care of you. Some of the places you can find this pen at, um, Applebaum might carry it. I believe they carry, it's like the blue body with the silver cap, which is very nice. Uh, they do carry that pen boutique has this pen and you also can find it on amazon i think amazon is actually a official retailer of waterman uh, they do have all the waterman inks waterman pens so check it out there well the msrp is 549 dollars. i know that pen boutique might have it a little lower than that and also if you're a veteran pen boutique also has a veteran's discount. So you'll have to look around for Waterman. I don't really see it at too many online pen retailers, but I mean, I didn't really go out and look. I know, I just know for sure that Pen Boutique carries Waterman because I've ordered Waterman from them before and they have great customer service there as well, I have to say. So I'm, I'm happy with them every time I've ordered from them. But I would like to see Waterman kind of come back a little stronger. I think what it is, it, they need more, um, more presence in our community, you know, more presence at the pen shows, maybe have a booth there, show us pens, maybe come out with a new design. I haven't seen much new stuff come from them. The only new stuff I ever see them come out with is like, you know, the hemisphere has a different lacquer color on it or something. But I mean, wouldn't the exception be kind of cool, like in a red or, you know, I mean, you know, do some exciting colors or just maybe something I don't know something new that's just my two cents for waterman in case you want to you wanted that maybe you don't <laughs> who knows oh well, i mean that's really all i have to say about this pen is i really i really enjoy it and if you would like to find you know this is a very classy 
nice, beautiful pen. I believe it is, by the way, I don't think I said that, but it is metal with lacquer. So it's not like a super heavy pen, which is really nice, but it's not super light either where it feels cheap and flimsy. It actually is very solid. I really like that. When I have a pen, I want to feel like I'm writing with a good pen. So especially one that has an MSRP of over $500, I want it to feel like it's a $500 pen. You know what I mean? So anyway, I highly encourage you go out, look for Waterman, look for the exception, try it out if you can. Why not? I mean, it's good to, to try out new. I love trying out new pens, dude. I do. Well, thank you so much for joining me. That's all I've got to say about this pen. I hope you learned something new about Waterman. Maybe this was a refresher. Who knows? But that's it. And that's how the ink flows. <laughs>